Hello, and welcome to our lesson on solving simultaneous equations by substitution. So in our first question, we have a pair of equations where we're told that 4x minus y is equal to 3, and the second equation, y is equal to 2x plus 1. So I'm going to write these two equations out again and label them equation 1 and equation 2. So it's a good idea to label the equations so we know which one we're working with. So to begin with, I'm going to substitute this value of y, so 2x plus 1, into our top equation here. So I'm going to rewrite equation 1. We have 4x minus y, but y is now this expression here, 2x plus 1. So you can see I have substituted this value of y into the other equation, and this is equal to 3. So the next thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to expand this bracket, because you can see now we have one equation with one unknown. So we have 4x minus 2x minus 1 is equal to 3. And we can tidy this up here, so we have 2x minus 1 is equal to 3. We'll add 1 to both sides, so 2x is equal to 4. And then we'll divide both sides by 2. So x is equal to 2. So now we've got a value for x. We're going to substitute this value into either equation 1 or 2. And I'm going to substitute it into equation 2 because it just looks a lot easier. So equation 2, we have y is equal to 2 lots of x. But we know that x is now 2 plus 1. So when x equals 2, y is equal to 5. So to check our working, we can substitute x equals 2 and y equals 5 into equation 1. So we have 4 lots of x, which is 2, minus the y, 5, is equal to 3. Well, 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 take away 5 does make 3. So we know that our values of x and y are correct. OK, let's try the next question. So I'm going to begin by labelling the top equation, equation 1, and the other equation, equation 2. And I'm going to substitute this value of y, so x plus 3. I'm going to write in equation 1, so I'll substitute this in place of this y here. So for equation 1, we have 2x plus 5y. And y is x plus 3. And this is equal to 1. So now we can expand these brackets out. So we have 2x plus 5x plus 15 is equal to 1. We can collect the x terms. So we have 7x plus 15 is equal to 1. We can take away the 15 from both sides. So x is equal to minus 14 and x is equal to minus 2. So now we can substitute this x equals minus 2 into either equation, and I'm going to choose to substitute it into equation 2. So for equation 2, we have y is equal to the x value, which is negative 2, plus 3. So y is equal to negative 2 plus 3, which is 1. And again, we can check this by substituting x equals negative 2 and y equals 1 into the other equation, so equation 1. So 2 lots of x, 2 lots of negative 2, plus 5 lots of y, which was 1. Does that equal 1? Well, 2 lots of negative 2 is negative 4, plus the 5 does make 1. So again, we know that x is negative 2 and y equals 1. OK, do you want to try the next two questions yourself? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. OK, so welcome back if you had a go. So in this question, before I can substitute this value of x into the other equation in place of here, I need to make x the subject of this equation. So to do this, I'll take 2y from both sides. So x is equal to 11 minus 2y. 
And now I can substitute this expression for x into here. So we have 5 lots of x, which is 11 minus 2y, minus the 2y to make 19. We can expand these out. So 55 minus 10y minus the 2y will make 19. We can collect these two together. So we have 55 minus 12y is 19. Now I'm going to make this negative 12y positive by taking it to the other side. So 55 is equal to 19 plus 12y. We'll take away 19 from both sides. So 36 is equal to 12y. We'll divide both sides by 12, so y is equal to 3. So now we'll label this equation 1 and this one equation 2. We'll substitute y equals 3 into either equation. I'm going to choose equation 2. So we have x plus 2 lots of y, or 2 lots of 3 to make 6, is 11. So x is equal to 5. And again, we can check by substituting our solutions, x equals 5 and y equals 3, into equation 1. So we have 5 lots of 5 minus 2 lots of y to make 19. Well, 25 take away the 6 does make 19. So we know these are correct. Okay, so for our next question, so I'll begin by calling it the top one equation 1 and the bottom one equation 2. And now we need to make y the subject of this equation. So we'll take away 2x from both sides. So we're left with y is equal to 5 minus 2x. And now we can substitute this expression for y into this y here in equation 1. So we have 3x plus 11 lots of the y. So 5 minus 2x is equal to 36. We can expand this bracket out. So 3x plus 55 minus 22x is equal to 36. I'm going to move the x terms to the right hand side of the equation. So we have 19 is equal to 19x. So x is equal to 1. So now we can work out y using this equation here. So y is equal to 5 minus 2 lots of 1. So y is equal to 3. And again, we'll check by substituting x equals 1 and x equals 3 into equation 1. So 3 lots of 1 plus 11 lots of 3. Well, 3 plus 33 does make 36. Okay, let's try one more question. So now we know how to solve simultaneous equations by substitution. We're going to apply that knowledge to solve this real life problem here, where we've been given three diagrams. The height of the first diagram is nine centimeters. The second diagram is 14.5 centimeters. And we've been asked to work out the height of the third diagram. So to solve this problem, we need to think about writing two equations. Well, in our first diagram, we can call this height here x. And this would be the same. This would be x as well. And the height of the octagon we can call y. So now we have 2x plus y is equal to 9. And we can call this equation 1. In our second diagram, again, we have an x here. But now we have three lots of y. So we can write for equation two, x plus three y is equal to 14.5. And now we can choose whether we make y the subject of equation one and substitute it into equation two, or make x the subject of equation two and substitute that into equation one. So I'm going to choose to make y the subject of equation one and substitute it into equation two. So y will equal nine 
minus 2x. Now I can substitute this expression for y into here. So we have x plus 3 lots of 9 minus 2x is equal to 14.5. We can expand these brackets out. So x plus 27 minus 6x is 14.5. We can move the x terms to the right hand side. So we have 5x and then 27 take away the 14.5 is 12.5. So x is equal to 2.5. And now I can substitute this value of x back into equation 1. So we have two lots of 2.5 plus the y to make 9. So 5 add 4 will make 9. So y will equal 4. So now I've got a value of x and y. We can use these two values to work out the height of a third diagram. So now we have the height of a rectangle is 2.5. And the height of the octagon is 4. So we have 5 plus 8 gives us 13 centimetres. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.